hello out there welcome to this tutorial uh, the topic here is matrices and we shall be looking at scalar multiplication of matrices and in the introduction aspects of this tutorial we look at what scalar multiplication of matrices is so let's matches a b a b c d where a b and c are real numbers and alpha b is scalar then then alpha a here we are meant to multiply alpha which is a scalar by the matrix a so what we do is the alpha multiply by every element in the matrix we are multiplying every element in the matrix by alpha so we now have uh, alpha a alpha b alpha c alpha d this is called scalar multiplication of matrix so let's go so we take the first problem let x be given as 1 3 negative 2 negative 6 y has entries 2 negative 4 negative 1 and 3 we have to find 3x and negative 2y so we start with uh, 3x here we have it 3 then we multiply by the matrix x so we multiply by the matrix x so here we go multiplying every entry by 3 we have a uh, 3 times 1 3 times 3 in the second row 3 times negative 2 second element we have it as 3 times negative uh, 6 3 times negative 6 then we then simplify so in the simplification we have 3 times 1 gives 3 3 times 3 gives 9 and uh, 3 times negative 2 gives negative 6 3 times negative 6 gives negative 18 so that is the result of 3x as the matrix obtained by multiplying x by 3 so we go to b this is negative 2y so that will be negative 2 multiplied by the matrix y multiplying it by matrix y then we multiply every entry in matrix y by negative 2 so there we have a negative 2 times 2 negative 2 times negative 4 negative 2 times negative 1 and finally negative 2 times 3 so negative 2 times 2 gives negative 4 so the first entry there is negative 4 negative 2 times negative 4 gives positive 8 so we have 8 negative 2 times negative 1 gives 2 and the negative 2 times 3 gives negative 6 again this is the matrix obtained by multiplying y by negative 2 y in problem 2 given that a is given as matrix of order 2 by 3 2 by 3 and or b is also of the same order we have to find 2a 3b and the sum of 2a and 3b so we start with 2a that's 2 multiplying by every element in matrix a so for the first element we are going to have 2 times negative 3 2 times negative 3 gives negative 6 so we have the first element to be negative 6 we go to the second element in the first row that's going to give us 2 times 2 2 times 2 gives 4 so we have 4 and the third element in row 1 we have a 2 times 1 2 times 1 gives 2 so we have a 2 there and uh, the second row the first element there is 2 times 0 which gives 0 then 2 times negative 1 gives negative 2 and finally we have 2 times 2 2 times 2 gives uh, 4 
we are done with the first part of the problem that's 2a gives this uh, matrix we move to the next problem 3b so again we are multiplying b all the entries in b by 3 so for the first row the first element is 3 times 2 3 times 2 gives uh, 6 in the second element we have a uh, 3 times 3 which gives uh, 9 the third element 3 times uh, 1 3 times 1 gives uh, 3 we go to the second row that's 3 times negative 1 3 times negative 1 gives negative 3 and the uh, second element there 3 times 2 gives uh, 6 and the third element in the second row is 3 times 0 which gives 0 so that gives uh, 0 now we now find uh, 2a plus 3b matrix 2a plus matrix 3b so the elements we shall look for the first element there will be the sum of negative 6 and 6 that will give you negative 6 plus 6 giving us 0 and the second element will be 4 plus 9 giving us a 13 the third element there will be 2 plus 3 2 plus 3 gives 5 go to the second row the first element there will be 0 plus negative 3 0 plus negative 3 gives negative 3 and the uh, second element will be negative 2 plus 6 that gives 4 and lastly third element there will be 4 plus 0 4 plus 0 gives a uh, 4 and uh, that is the end of the solution of this problem and uh, for now we are saying goodbye from here till we meet again thanks for watching